Hi friends this is next part of Laravel tutorial series and in this part we are going to discuss how to make MySQL database connection. After making database connection in Laravel clone application then after we will see how to create MySQL table in PHP my admin from this Laravel clone application. In previous part we have seen how install Composer PHP dependencies for Laravel framework and then after how to download Laravel clone application by using Composer. So now let's start discussing how to make database connection. So here we have already making one Laravel testing database, in this database we have not create any table. So we will make connection with this database. In Laravel for making database connection we have to define database connection property in two file. So, this is our downloaded Laravel clone application directory structure, for making database connection first we have to define database connection property into this .env file. After clicking on this file for making database connection here we can see database connection is equal to MySQL. So, here we define host is equal to localhost, database is equal to Laravel testing, username is equal to root and password is equal to blank. This is first file in which we can set this database connection configuration setting. After define database configuration in this file, now we have go to config folder and in this here we can see database.php file. So this is second file in which we want to define database connection credential. So we have open this file and under this file we can see different database connection setting but in this by default it said MySQL database connection. But suppose you have used another database SQLite so you can change this name from MySQL to SQLite and define that database connection credential. But here we want to make MySQL database connection, so here we can see MySQL database connection setting. So in host key we have set localhost. In database key we have set Laravel testing database name, in username key we have set root and in password key we have set blank value. So this way we can define MySQL database setting in Laravel framework, so in this framework we want to define database setting in two file otherwise we will get database connection error. After making MySQL database connection now we want to create simple MySQL table in PHP my admin from this Laravel application. So for this first we have go to database folder and in this there is three subfolder like factories, migrations and seeds, so we have go to migrations folder. Under this folder we can see some file. So first we have remove that file and after remove file we have go to command prompt in which we have run composer. Here we have already come into our Laravel clone application if you have not in Laravel clone application so your artisan command will not run. But here we have already in Laravel root directory and here we have write command like php artisan make double colon model student dash m. This command will generate two file one is migration file for create student table and another is student model of this Laravel application. So here we can see create student migration file in migrations folder and in app folder we can see student.php model file. We will discuss this file in next video tutorial. But first we have go to migrations folder and open create student table migration file, after open this file we can see there is some code already right in this file. 
This is create students table class which extends migrations class and under this we can see two method like up for create student table and migrate into PHP my admin and second method for reverse migrate that means drop students table. In up method we can see student table structure with three column already created, because by using this schema class with create method we can build database table. This code will make students table with three column like it with auto increment and primary, and dollar table with time stamps method will create make two table column like create it and updated it with data type time stamp. But we want to add two more column like first name and last name, so here we have write dollar table object with string method with table column name first name. It will make first name table column with data type varchar 255 character. Same way for last name table column, we have again write dollar table object with string method with table column like last name. This code will also make last name table column with data type varchar 255 character. After this now we want to migrate this student table to PHP my admin, so we have go to command prompt and here we have write PHP artisan migrate command and press enter. After pressing enter we have received message like student table has been migrated, that means student table successfully migrated and it will make student table in Laravel testing database. So we have go to Laravel testing database and in this we can see student table with five column like id, first name, last name, created that and updated that has been created. So this way we can create table in MySQL database by using this Laravel application. So in this video tutorial we have discussed how to make MySQL database connection with Laravel application and after making database connection how to migrate table from Laravel application to PHP my admin. We will use this student table for discussing how can we insert update delete MySQL table data in Laravel application. In short we will make CRUD operation application in Laravel framework in next part. If you have any query regarding this video tutorial part, please comment your query in comment box and if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends or even you can also share on social media also. If you want to get more update regarding our video tutorial, please subscribe our YouTube channel for get more update regarding release of future video. Lastly keep watching our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.